Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do a test of the strength of a weld. And what I've done is I've set myself a worst case scenario. Now, this line that I'm using here, I just did this weld this morning. And it is very old uh, PVC line, polyvinyl chloride. Probably a Cortland 444 SL that I bought over 20 years ago. I would have bought this when we were living in Burlington, so I know it will be over 20 years ago. I had a bunch of Cortland lines back then. It's probably from, uh, the running line is probably from uh, three weight or four weight. I uh, had a lot of three weights and four weights back then, so that would make sense. It's very skinny. There's hardly any uh, PVC over the core. Uh, it's 20 pound core. Uh, so this is absolute worst case. I'm trying to weld really old PVC. It's got hard, it's running line, so it has hardly any coating at all. And it's old, and it's 20 pound core. And what I've got here is I've got this old fish scale. And we are going to hook this up to the fish scale, and I'm gonna yank on it. And then I'm gonna go look at the footage and see what kind of um, pressure we're able to put on the fish scale. And also we're going to see where it breaks, because uh, I'm gonna, break it. So I'm going to hop around the other side of the table and I'm going to set this up and we're going to really refund it and see what we get. Okay, there we can go see where it broke. About uh, three inches, four inches below the weld. And you can see how the, the line is all sort of crinkly looking. Shows you how much stress we put on the line. Now I'm going to take my footage and take a review of it and see if I can read what kind of pressure we're able to put on that weld. And you can see it didn't break at the weld at all. The weld is still fine. I mean, it's now kind of crinkly because of the stress it was put under. But even it's separated a little bit right there where the, um, the tag met the main line. But it didn't break there. It broke further down. And uh, if this had been newer material or better yet, airflow polyurethane, it would not have broken at where the tag was. It would have that part would have been properly welded. Th this is one of the problems with welding really old PVC is that, that never really welded properly at that spot because as I say, this stuff is over 20 years old. So I'm gonna take my uh, footage upstairs, look at it in the computer and see if I can read this and we'll talk about how uh, much pressure we're able to put on it. So let's go upstairs. Okay, I've just reviewed the footage and it broke at 19 and a half pounds or roughly eight and a half kilograms of force that was applied to this. As I say, this is, I think it's a 20 pound core, but it could be a 15 pound core. It's really, really skinny. So uh, it's, it makes sense. Usually they break at higher than the core strength. So who knows, this could be a 15 pound core. Um, as you can see, it broke uh, three inches beyond the weld. And this particular point here on the weld did not receive any heat whatsoever. So there was no welding occurring on here. This could have broke anywhere from here. I had four foot of line out when I was pulling on it. It really stretched. Um, when I was pulling on it, I pulled as much as I could. It hadn't broken. I had to take, if, take another step back to continue pulling on it. And that was just with about four to five foot line out. And I, it took a, full step back because there was so much stretch in the line. So it could have broken anywhere in that four feet and it broke, uh, I could say about three, three and a half inches below the weld. Whoops, I just dropped it. So bottom line is the weld didn't break. Really old PVC, over 20 years old, 15 or 20 pound core, whatever it is. It, it didn't weld very well especially at the tag end, it still didn't break. It was the main line that broke. 
So if anybody tells you that welds don't hold, just remember the worst case. And then if you've got a good weld, do you think that's going to break? No. These things don't break in normal usage. You have to do something stupid to them to break them. Uh, and other than that, they'll last. Even homemade ones last. Uh, the factory ones generally, you know, the factory one, for example, will solve that. Like Airflow puts a sleeve over their, that uh, tag end, so that will never happen. And that's why they do that. It keeps that, that uh, tag end pristine. And if you look at this loop that I did on my previous video, you can see that that tag end is really welded in there quite well. That will not break at the tag end either. So that one will be fine. I could tell when I welded this one that the, uh, the tag wasn't great. So, but that's a function of its age. Old PVC does not weld well, you know, and as I said, this is going to be at least 20 years old, maybe even 25, because I, I, I stopped buying Cortland uh, 444 SLL lines when I came out here 20 years ago. So I went almost exclusively airflow at that time. So, uh, you know, don't worry about it. If this thing will hold, any decent welded loop will hold. Cheers. Fish. Good one.